Hi there guys, welcome back to the Daily Racing Show here at Race Plaza Media and today is Friday and today we have more F1 memes curated by Hearst Truly, truly. <laughs> <laughs> um, and I'll be watching and reacting as always. To set the scene for the first one, as you probably know, I know you know, we're more than ready for F1 to kick off this month. That's why, of course, we're doing another meme review, but this is sort of to get us excited for... This upcoming season? What's, what's to come. Okay. Okay? All right, yeah. All right. No. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, if you're... Uh, uh, it's lights out and away we go. Yeah. yeah, if you're not a European... Um, Pan or located in Europe, yeah. it can sometimes be very, very early. Yeah. Or we have even races that are like on Saturday evening. Saturday night. We have yeah. like, I think, two or I so. Think Australia and Japan are usually Saturday night for us, yeah. which is not bad, which I actually like. Yeah. Or I don't mind it on Saturday evening. But we do, like, our first race, is, I think, starts at 7 a.m., which is definitely fine. That's, yeah, that's fine. That's more than doable. But we have some, like, 5 a.m. races, <laughs> which we've gotten up for. Yes. But it's. Sometimes it's, it feels early because it's like if it's Sunday, it's maybe your your only day off of the week. Yeah. So and then you get up 5 a.m. and you're like, oh. <laughs> yeah, so I do feel it. Not saying that when races take place in the U.S. now, it's not early or something like that for the European watchers. Definitely. But it seems like it's more catered towards European fan base. Maybe the start times than anyone else. I but mean, it's fine. You get yeah, the, exactly. the OG fans. We're not complaining. We're just pointing out. But yeah, so that's definitely yeah, how it yeah. goes sometimes. It's like, okay, yeah, yeah, here we absolutely. go. We'll have a coffee yeah. at like 5 a.m. just to like make it through the race. Yeah. <laughs> or breakfast at like 5. It's like... Yeah, <laughs> definitely ordering breakfast. All right, here we go. Next one. Let's go. When you, oh, here. Uh, when you take a piss, put a crafty stuff. <laughs> what? That's getting louder and louder, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and I mean, I know technically you could pause it, right? yes, but yeah. you, you don't want to. I, I feel like especially the, the, the beginning yeah. of the race, the start of the race is always so exciting. Yes, and then it's also like you can't go to the restroom in the first like 10 laps. You just can't. There's too much happening. You have then DRS yeah. usually engaged after the first two laps. Like you just can't. No, I like mean... You, you have to go before. Usually, or you have somebody like you stay put. I run to the restroom, take your business and run right back and then mm -hmm. vice versa just to like yeah. take shifts and you can communicate. Yeah, like Formation Lab when they started, you should already be on your way to the bathroom. Like when Formation Lab starts, you should be on the way to the bathroom to be back in time for the Oh, start. yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah Formation like, Lab is like... Last chance. Yeah, last yeah. Chance. Once they're parked, forget about it. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna, yeah. gonna have to hold it. <laughs> All right, next. Next. So. Uh, every new F1 fan choosing their driver. <laughs> driver. <laughs> you know, this is so accurate. We have a friend that just recently got into uh, Formula One. Yes. And it's also, I think she watched the, f the only and first race that she watched was last year was Vegas. Yes, which right? was a great race to watch. Yes, I even feel. though all the drama around it, yes. I think the saving grace for Vegas was that it was actually a really, really great race. Super was, fun race, um, yes. And, and and then she also like had her eyes on Charles. Yeah, for sure. And so we ended up actually as a birthday gift, we got her um, the F1 like for a year. So oh yeah, she can watch. streaming and then we got a, a picture created yeah, of yeah. her and Charles <laughs> underneath the, um, yeah. like in, was it in Paris, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It's like, it was like a, it's a joke, obviously. <laughs> yes, yes. Um, but I will say, this goes back to, we had a conversation about this before. It's like, he has a ridiculous interest, oh, just yes. like Russell. But I'm so excited to see yeah. what's, what's coming this what's time. What's in store this year, <laughs> yes, absolutely. All right, next up is this. Oh, okay. Um, so watch it first. Oh, I think I know what this is. This is Senna, yeah. Yeah, I thought yeah. it was so so Isn't, beautiful. Doesn't that... um, I think Hamilton has one of his helmets? Yeah, he was gifted one of exactly, these. Exactly, right? he was gifted when he um, hit the same amount of wins. I think it was mm -hmm. as Senna. They gave him mm -hmm. his helmet, which was ah, also Gustav, super sorry. emotional. That's but I just love that it was. 
like so on the bottom i'm sure you guys recognize it's from iron man uh -huh. iron man 3 specifically and the writers use the moment from senna and his wife oh. as inspiration for that funeral <sighs> scene oh wait so this is this is this is end game no it is um sorry wait let me think about this for a second it was from that scene, the top, Senna's wife, that was his funeral. Mm -hmm. And then the bottom was Iron Man 3. So oh. not his, they, obviously he doesn't die in Iron Man 3. Spoiler, no spoiler. Yeah, it's not... um, okay. But oh, yeah, so I thought okay. it was really beautiful that they took inspiration from real life. Although mm -hmm. it's such a heartbreaking moment. But I, oh, I'm getting a little emotional because I think it's just yeah. so beautiful heart wrenching but yeah, yeah i i actually i didn't realize that they took that from um his wife and from you know his funeral i yeah. did not realize because i i saw the bottom part obviously and then i saw the helmet and i thought you know i remember that lewis got has one of his helmets mm -hmm. um but i was like yeah that's uh i mean yeah it's very sad obviously you know yeah. to have one of the greats in the sport um, and then something like that you know happens. yeah but i thought it was just a beautiful way to see how they incorporated mm -hmm. uh tragedy of real life mm -hmm. into film but how inspirational yeah when, like, life... or impact has yeah, yeah onto when, like... real life so yeah, yeah absolutely um, so there was a little like heartfelt moment but mm -hmm. let's get back into let's the get back. yes the... hysterical that's like a pig oh you can't say that why not it's a ferrari it's a shit box it understands like crazy and the weight distribution is a disaster it's amazing, all these facilities, and you make a piece of crap like this. <laughs> um, that's from the movie Rush? Yes, so that's, yep. it's Nick, Nicky Lauda's yeah. character, essentially uh -huh. by Daniel Brühl. But I just thought it was so funny to just imagine um, Hamilton's first reaction <laughs> in a Ferrari. I mean, hopefully it's I, not going to be like that. Yes, I mean, knock on wood, Ferrari gets the reliability yes. and everything under control. But I will say also... Um, I think I would like to think that Hamilton has uh -huh. a little bit more diplomatic way of oh. conveying it than, <laughs> than Nikki did. Um, but I totally forgot that Nikki was obviously a Ferrari driver. And that maybe also is like, maybe he's like, you know what? Because I know he was a big mentor and he... He uh, brought um, him to Mercedes. Exactly. Yeah. And it's like, oh, okay, that's awesome. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, that, <laughs> that is funny. But I thought it had like different kind of like, obviously uh. Ferrari... But then also Nikki has a big relationship, yeah, like yeah, you said, exactly. to, so it has like all kinds of <laughs> meanings. And then, so speaking of Hamilton going to Ferrari, uh -huh. so hopefully, obviously, this is not going to be the case. Mm -hmm. But God. what do you think about this? Imagine we get a black live. Oh, <laughs> okay. I don't think this would ever happen. Yes. Wait, I... let me see if there's. Oh, okay, no. Um, no, I don't think this would happen. Yeah. This does look fire, and it would be awesome to see this for like a special, like, like a special, special event. Special. Yeah. Because in the end, like we've talked about this Ferrari and red. Hand yes, in hand, right? A thousand percent. But um, this looks. Whoever <laughs> whoever came up with this, it looks absolutely gorgeous. Yes. Um, but yeah, it would be cool if they did something, um, if they did like a special, you know? Yeah, so I was reading the comments and people were also saying, because I was, because um, Lewis brought the black color mm -hmm. to Mercedes. Which so I think the, the Turbo Pi looks actually really, really gorgeous. It, in that it does, black. it yeah. does. So they were like, ooh, can he bring it? Can uh -huh. he convince Ferrari to make uh -huh. it a black car? Which most people say no, because no. Ferrari is red. And I mean, I 100% agree with it. You 100% agree with it. Yeah. But I agree with you. I would love if it it would be like a special occasion yeah maybe um a vegas one maybe a vegas one or i don't know if you guys have any ideas when this would be the perfect timing for like a black yeah. and red yeah library let us know or maybe if it, if they go to his home race silverstone mm -hmm. to have him race in yeah. the black i don't know but i just because thought that they, was really cool they do a co co occasionally do like special libraries right yes so yeah it'd be awesome but yeah i mean the ferrari red we all know but this yeah. does look really or fun when he wins his world championship with ferrari then they'll make it for him. <laughs> maybe we'll see we'll see oh. <laughs> <laughs> you know it's true though you know behind a safety car you have the cars like peeking out 
<laughs> well, I mean, it looks like peeking out, but it's also like keeping the tires. Of course, of course, warm, of course. Of but course. It, that's very funny. That's very <laughs> accurate. accurate I, I thought it, it was so funny. Nice. Okay. I don't know why I'm singing that. I don't know. Well, they have a song, but I didn't want to play because of, you know, cover copyright. Yes. All right. Um, okay, so the last one. Last man. Last man for today mm -hmm. is. Sorry, I got a tear here from the. <laughs> from laughing. Um, so, as you guys probably already know, if you've been following our channel, we're going to review the new F1 library next week, Friday. Mm -hmm. So, everything that has. Well, next week are going to be the last couple of few that are going to be released. And then we're going to do an overall review video since you haven't. You've been trying to avoid them as much as possible. Yes. 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 So there's one meme I have for you. Mm -hmm. It doesn't spoil anything. Okay. But it's it's um somewhat telling. Oh, okay. 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 Let's see. So I have to open two. I think I know what it might be, <laughs> but I don't know. Maybe I'm way off. Okay. <laughs> So I will say I've heard so far uh -huh. that people are a little disappointed that it's uh, that it's not as good. The only one that I think I've seen, uh -huh. I haven't taken a closer look, is the Sauber one or the oh, okay. Kick. Yeah. Kicker, kick, whatever it is. Um, that's the only one. And mm -hmm. then here and there, like I've scrolled past like something blue with Williams. Yeah. Which is like, I mean, it's Williams, you know? So yeah, blue kind of makes yes, sense. Yes, yes. Um, but yeah. yeah. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. <laughs> so I'm assuming maybe it's a lot of black or carbon fiber that we can see in these I movies. mean, I'm not going to say anything yeah. yet. Um, but I just thought this was so, so funny. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. Carbon fiber. I like the way he says it. I know. Um, um yep that was the last thing that i have for you for today <laughs> nice very uh nice and you know bite-sized yes, i like it exactly i tried to keep it a little bit more condensed this time but yeah. nonetheless good memes good for memes. the f1s and um yes so we have a lot more f1 content coming out so we have the f1 uh, library um, review or me reacting to them yes. coming out. We have our F1 bingo coming out. Yes. And you guys can play along with that. So keep an eye out for that. Mm -hmm. And then we are going to be live streaming the very first race. So we're not going to be showing the race, but we're going to do like a hangout. So anyone who wants to come and watch the race and chat along with us is more than welcome to. Yes, please. And um, yeah, thank you guys so much for tuning in. Thank you so much for preparing the memes as You're always. You're welcome. You're welcome. Um, let us know, or you know, in our socials, that you guys can get in touch. You guys can also share for more memes. It doesn't have to be F1 memes. It could be any racing. Yeah, memes. any racing memes. Send us your favorite ones, and we'll incorporate them in future videos. Yep. Definitely do so. Um, and then, um, as always, like and subscribe. And we will be seeing you guys here tomorrow at the Daily Racing Show. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.